welcome back to my channel. Today I have some favorites to share with you. So of course I have beauty, I also have some skincare and body care items, and then a few fashion items and a home slash lifestyle item to share with you. So I'm super excited to share with you guys all of these things that I've been loving. So if you're interested in seeing them, then please keep watching. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe so you get notified when I make new videos. And let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with beauty and then move on to fashion in just a minute. So my first beauty favorite is this Milani Conceal Plus Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation Concealer. I have mine in the shade Light Beige. I picked this up right before I went on vacation and just decided to take it with me to test it out because it was from the drugstore. I wasn't going to be heartbroken if like I broke it or something like that. It's not the safest to travel with because it is glass, but it didn't break or anything, so... I was lucky on that one, but it really is a great foundation. I tested it out all through vacation and it withstood all of the humidity in Florida and my skin just looked so flawless. It is what I have on today. The color match is perfect for me when I am self tanned. The thing that I love about the color range in these Milani foundations is it is more like olive yellow base. So I love that because I do have quite a bit of like oliveness in my skin. And on the days that I'm more red, I like to correct it so I do look a little bit more olive. This shade is perfect for me. It's again, Light Beige 03. And I just love the finish of it. Again, it is very full coverage, but it's not mattifying whatsoever. But it's not luminous. It's kind of like in the middle. It's a really pretty, like healthy, glowing satin finish if that makes any sense, but I really like it. It's pretty much been my go-to foundation recently because it is full coverage. It covers all the areas that I need it to, my redness, my dark pigmentation, and it just leaves my face looking very flawless and it's very, very lightweight still. So I love this foundation. If you guys haven't tried it, you definitely should go try it. Then I also have another single eyeshadow this month that I've been loving. I've been really into single eyeshadows lately and I picked this one up a couple months ago. This is the Bobbi Brown eyeshadow in the shade camel number five and just by looking at it in the pan it doesn't look like anything too special it's just like a typical brown eyeshadow but this color in particular just is so beautiful on the eyes I have been loving this single eyeshadow so much I'll just apply it all over the lid and it just looks so beautiful it especially looks beautiful if you have blue eyes it just really brings them out and just gives you that kind of just sexy bronzy look to your eyes so I've been loving this eyeshadow definitely going to be one that I wear all summer long because it's kind of like a one and done eyeshadow. This is the only thing you need for your lid and your crease and it just looks very put together and beautiful. So if you're looking for a very easy one and done kind of eyeshadow, I would definitely recommend this one. It just does something magical to blue eyes. It's so pretty. Even though it does look like just your standard brown, it's not. Now for my lip combo of the month, I've been using these two products together. The first is the MAC Strip Down Lip Liner. So what I do is I just apply this and outline my lips with it and I kind of fill them in just a little bit on the corners just to make me look like I have a fuller, poutier lip. Then I go in with this Anastasia lip gloss in the shade Undressed. I am completely smitten by these lip glosses. They're almost like a liquid lipstick gloss to me because they're very opaque, they're very smooth and creamy, but they last and they're just amazing. Like the formulation is so good on these. So if you guys have recommendations for other colors that you think I would like, be sure to let me know in the comments because I definitely want to get more of these. This gloss alone is even stunning and it tops beautifully over other lipsticks, but it's so pigmented. You could just wear it as kind of like a liquid lipstick. It's just really, really good. So I'm excited to try more of these, but this color is perfect. It's actually what I have on my lips today. And it's just that perfect kind of nude gloss for me. So loving that. As far as the liner goes, I'm sure you guys have heard of Stripped Down by MAC many times, but this is just a great mid-tone brown liner that looks just very flattering. If you're trying to give your lips a little bit more of a pouty look, it just looks really good combined with the undress gloss. So I've been loving this combination recently. It's just been my go-to. I'm really into just gloss and liner right now, and these have been winners for me. Okay, so now moving on to some skincare and body care. I've been loving the Sunday Riley Good Jeans Serum. This is an all-in-one lactic acid treatment, and I originally had the, um, I think it's called the Luna Oil, it's the blue oil, 
by Sunday Riley, and I loved it, so I decided to go ahead and pick this up. And I've noticed a huge difference in the performance of the oil since I've been using this. Those two combined have just been amazing, and I've definitely noticed a huge difference. So I've been loving this Good Jeans Lactic Acid Treatment. I use it every night. I have been wanting to do kind of like an updated skincare routine or products that I've been loving, so if you guys are interested in seeing that, be sure to let me know in the comments so I'll do it a little bit sooner for you guys because I've been using some amazing skincare recently that has really changed my skin. So been loving good jeans. And then for my body, I also have two products that I wanted to mention. The first one is this body wash by Shea Moisture. It's the Intense Hydration Body Wash with African Rock Fig, and it says that it's the dry skin recipe. And if you guys have been watching my channel, you know that I have very dry skin, not just on my face, but all over my entire body. And this helps to just really leave my skin hydrated, and just, it's a very luxurious kind of body wash where it's not heavy, like you get out of the shower and you feel like you forgot to wash something off. It's just very nourishing and hydrating. When you're lathering it all over and then you wash it off, you can feel like it just like really penetrated into your skin and it just leaves my skin so supple and soft when I get out of the shower. So I've been loving it. If you are someone with dry skin, I would definitely recommend this because it suds up really nicely too. I noticed like a lot of natural products, they don't really suds. You don't really feel clean with them, but this one really sets up, but it also has very clean ingredients in it. So no gluten, paraffin, sulfates, parabens, anything like that. So good ingredients and it really moisturizes my body. So I've been loving it. And then when I get out of the shower from using the body wash, I'll put on this pure tan, pure moisture, organic extra virgin coconut oil, coconut body cream. It says that it's a luxurious body cream enriched with virgin coconut oil penetrates deep, leaving your skin nourished, silky smooth, and radiant. So this is what it looks like. It comes in a little puck, and it smells so, so good. Oh my gosh. It smells like the beach. I absolutely love it. I've used a lot of it this month because I will just slather this all over me. And again, it's just a very luxurious feeling product. They also make self tanner and like, you know, other kind of body products. I've been using this as my body cream after I get out of the shower and it just makes me feel so hydrated and luxurious. These two together are like winner, winner chicken dinner for me. I love them. I have to mention this hairbrush that I've been loving. It sounds so silly. But everybody's been talking about the wet brush, and to be really honest with you, I'm like, that is so gimmicky when I first heard about it. Like, a brush that you can use when your hair is wet. I just, I don't know. I'm just like, I'll just use a wide tooth comb. But when I was going to pick out some travel things at Target one day, I saw this in the travel section. Just a mini little wet brush. And I thought, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and pick it up, give it a try. It was like only five bucks. And I have completely like been life changed by it. It's so silly, but this is a really good brush. I have very tangly hair, very damaged hair because it has been a year since I've been going blonde. And you know, if you color your hair blonde, you feel me on that. My hair is just so damaged and it's hard to get through sometimes, even if I use conditioner and all of that. So my hair usually is pretty tangly and I have to let it air dry completely. But ever since I've been using this little brush, it literally brushes through all my tangles. I don't even know how, but these little bristles are so flexible that it just literally just goes through all of my hair strands and gets all the rats and tangles out and it's just amazing. So I guess I would say I'm a believer in the wet brush now. It's really good, you guys. I use it when my hair is dry and it just goes through all of my tangles like that. So definitely impressed. I'm gonna pick up a full size one now because I do like it so much. But this little travel size one is actually pretty handy because I can just throw it in my purse, you can travel with it, you know, all of that. But thought I would mention it to you guys because I've definitely been impressed with this little brush. All right, so now let's get into some fashion things that I've been loving. I'll start off with a pair of sunglasses. These probably aren't gonna be everyone's cup of tea. They are a little loud, but they're just really fun and they're really inexpensive. So that's why I thought I would show them to you guys because it's just fun, I think, sometimes to have fun sunglasses that make you feel happy and easy and inexpensive. So that's why I wanted to share them with you guys. So this is the packaging that they come in. I actually got them off Amazon. The name is G-A-M-T. I'll try to link it down below for you guys, but it comes in a nice little hard packaging with a little glass cleaner. And then the sunglasses are mirrored and they're pink. And I just think they're so fun. I think they look really cute on too. 
So that's what they look like on, and I don't know, I just think they're fun, they're oversized, they fit my head, I have a very large head, so these are kind of like the perfect shape, and I don't know, I just think they're fun, they're cute if you have an all black swimsuit on, and they're just fun for travel, and I love them. So I wanted to share them with you guys, I like how they're kind of cat-eyed here at the top too, I think that's really cute. I have to say the only thing that I don't like about them is that they have this little like catch right there that gold little catch and my hair gets caught in it and it drives me crazy because it pulls out my hair that's the only thing that i don't like about them especially if you're at the pool or the beach and your hair is wet and you try to go to put them in or take them out it would hurt really bad and that would not be a good situation so that's the only thing that i don't like about them but i just think they're really cute and fun and I've been loving them, so I wanted to share them with you guys. I actually have quite a bit of fashion things that I've been loving, but I just don't know if you guys want to see that here on my channel, so I guess I won't show you everything, but I'll show you a couple pairs of shoes that I think are really cute. So these shoes I got at DSW, and they're BCBG Generation shoes, and they're just really cute. They're studded in gold and then kind of like a camel color. And these are so fun to just throw on with anything. I mean anything, like I like to wear this with a very basic outfit, like a white tee and some cute denim. And I just think it dresses it up a little bit. It's kind of like feet jewelry to me. And I just think they're really, really cute. So I've been wearing these a lot and I love them. And I think that they're under $50. And they're also very comfortable. A lot of sandals like this um, are actually pretty narrow and these are a little wider because I do have a very wide foot and these actually look good on me. Some of them that are made really narrow make my feet look kind of like duck feet and it's not attractive. But these are super comfortable and I really like them a lot. So the other pair of shoes are Vans and I've never been like a huge like Vans kind of girl. Um, I think the black perforated ones are super, super cute. But I wanted a pair that I could wear like in the spring and summertime that were a little bit lighter in color. And I came across these and when I first saw them, I was just like, meh, I don't know. But when you put them on, they're like so cute. And the print of it reminded me of the Louis Vuitton, like the lightest gray and cream print. And I just thought it was super cute. So this is what they look like. Again, they look great with like a basic outfit. You can just throw them on and I don't know, I think they look really cute. I wore them to the airport, great airport shoe, super comfortable. So I wanted to mention these to you guys because they're just an easy shoe. Again, really cute with just like a t-shirt and some denim. I just think it's really adorable. So love those. Why I'm sitting here, I guess I'll go ahead and mention this necklace that I have on. It's so pretty. It's kind of like a choker. It's basically just structured gold necklace and I got it at Target and it's super cute. It feels like pretty well made too for Target and it just glistens in the light and I just think it's really pretty. So thought I would have mentioned that and I think that that was under $20 too. And then another Target item that I wanted to show you guys is this top from Knox Rose and it's this beautiful red color. It's kind of baby dollish and it has these bell sleeves which are so on trend right now and I'm so digging that trend because it covers my arm fat, like my chicken fat under my arm. So I love these kind of tops and it's a little higher in the front and then a little lower in the back. This looks super cute with some skinny jeans and then a really fun like wedge heel or a blocked heel. I really like it with a blocked heel. So that's what it looks like and I just think it's so cute. It's kind of like a boxier shape which don't always look good on me because I am like a boxier frame anyways but it does go up in the front once you get it on so it just lays really nicely. Some little embroidered dots all over it and I just think it's so precious. I think it's really, really cute and I love the color of it. I think it's really pretty. So I thought I would mention it to you guys because I just found it at Target I would say two and a half, three weeks ago and I love it. So I'm going to be wearing this a lot. Then the last thing before I get off here today, I wanted to show you guys this candle that I have found at Home Goods, and I fell in love with it. So I went back and bought every single one that my Home Goods had, and it's called the Hive. Is what the brand is called, the Hive. And I'll try to find the website and link it down below. But definitely check your Home Goods. I'm sure you can find it cheaper there. 
But the packaging, first of all, is absolutely adorable. And it's like a burlapy, like natural material. And it has all of these little bees all over it, which I think is so cute. And then the top has bees all over it too. And it looks really like aesthetically pleasing, like in the kitchen, the living room. It's really fun to decorate with. And these are soy wax and 100% cotton wick. So a little bit better for the air. And if you're sensitive to candles like I am, I have a hard time finding candles that don't give me a headache and these ones don't and they smell really good throughout the entire house so this one right here has to be probably my favorite this is honey and mandarin and it just oh, it smells so good it's a perfect summer candle and the one that i have burning right back there is honey and lavender and that one smells amazing too. I have that one in my bedroom and then the bathroom and it just smells so, so good. And just look how cute that packaging is. I just think it's so cute. So that is everything that I've been loving lately. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to thumbs it up. So I know you guys are liking my favorites and be sure to let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see in the next couple months so I can get an idea, write them down and get them out for you guys. But thank you again so much for taking the time to watch this video. Be sure to subscribe if you're not so you don't miss out on my next one and I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye.